about Gemini. This is my favorite line to say, you guys know by now. But Gemini, what did you do to this person? They were up at night crying. Good Lord in heaven, look at this. It's an energy of, should I tell them how I feel? Should I, should I express myself to Gemini or should I not? And just on and on and on they go. It, it's basically just a never-ending cycle that they're not breaking out of. They don't want you out on the dating market because they feel like you're going to find better than them. And this is their worst fear. This is their worst nightmare, okay? They stay up at night stressing out over this. Yeah, for some of you, you were followed home by this person. I also feel like this person is trying to communicate to you through telepathy. Hello, my beautiful Geminis. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Star Seaside here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is their current feelings towards you. It is a general read, so take what resumes and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. With all that out of the way, we're going to get started. We're first going to start with the past person, and then we shall move to the new person. So if you're interested in a specific person, do check the timestamps below in the description box. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this reading for Gemini. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. Number 12, Pisces and Pluto. Mm. Number 12 represents the hangman, so this person definitely watches you. Whether it's on the 3D, so the physical reality, or it's through the metaverse, so social media one or the other it could even be both yeah pluto oh yikes they have a strong attraction towards you very very strong but with the pisces energy there they're holding back they're holding back they're not it's like you can't read them i feel like they don't really express themselves like there's a lot of mystery surrounding this person. Their current feelings towards Gemini. Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords. Some of you were followed home. Yeah, for some of you, you were followed home by this person. I also feel like this person is trying to communicate to you through telepathy seven of cups what is this five of wands so they feel like okay and this is their feelings right they feel like you let other people get in the way of this connection yeah they, they feel like you let others your family your friends they feel like you let other people get in the way of this and that's why things aren't really moving forward they feel like you're being influenced by other individuals knight of cups wow the lovers and six of pentacles in reverse they feel like you're in denial of your feelings they they yeah the moon they feel like you're in denial they feel, they feel like, okay, Gemini, they feel like you want them, but you're holding back, right? The lovers in reverse, they feel like you do have feelings for them with that moon card there, but with the lovers in reverse, they feel like you're in denial. You're just, they feel like you're being petty. You're, you're trying to make a point but they feel like you're being very childish when it comes to this uh, they're holding on to you for dear life though <laughs> they followed you they don't want you to know maybe you do know but with that chariot some of you were followed home this person knows where you live or they know where you work or it's both. 
but they know a lot of you were followed, Gemini. This person does not want to let you go. They can't make their decision. This person doesn't want you. Okay. Yeah, Ten of Cups. They don't want you out on the dating market because they feel like you're going to find better than them. And this is their worst fear. This is their worst nightmare. Okay. They stay up at night stressing out over this. They have real nightmares where you have fallen in love with someone else. Look at that. I was literally just saying it, that they have nightmares at night. And you're literally going to get the same card twice. They have nightmares at night of you falling in love with someone else. And it's stressing them out. Seven of Cups. The Hangman. They're trying to get information about you through mutual friends and family. Like, they're trying to, like, snoop around. Five of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and here's the Hierophant. Wow, the lovers again. They definitely feel like you guys are a match made in heaven. But it's like, this is a very stubborn energy. So part of the reason there's difficulty in this connection is because of them. They feel very much abandoned by you. And they feel like you're not showing that much interest into this anymore. So it's like they're trying to figure out if they should make an offer. Because for some of you, this person is a player. Or this person just doesn't want commitment. They don't care to be in a committed relationship at this time. But it's like, they don't want you single. So they're contemplating making a real offer here because they don't they don't want to be left out in the cold it's literally showing you going with someone else like this is their biggest fear all these cards fell let me pick them up oh they fell on their side look at that seven of cups on its side eight of wands on its side yeah the hermit on its side six of cups on its side let me just make sure nothing fell there's nothing else that I missed here. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah. That just tells me that this individual does not want to make decisions. They don't want to make decisions. They're like in their head, back and forth, back and forth. Do you see that infinity symbol? This is this person. The future shows this person still in their head. Nine of Cups, King of Wands. They see you as wish fulfillment, but honestly, if they don't do anything, you're going to be the one that got away. They got to get their act together. So, that's what I have for you. They, they just, they don't want you on the dating market, but then they don't want to be in a commitment or they want to have fun because that King of Wands player energy... So I see in the future, they're still going to be in their head and nothing's really going to move forward. So that's what I have for you. And now we shall move on to the new person. Okay, my beautiful Gemini. Let's see how this new person currently feels towards you. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guiders in this read for Gemini. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for divine guidance and celestial light. Oh, we have number nine, Capricorn and the moon. This is a mixed energy. This is very... This person is doing some sort of magic. I'm um, just forewarning. This person is doing magic because the Hermit Ray, a lot of people forget that the Hermit, card number nine, the Hermit is a spellcaster, okay? He knows how to use magic. He's like Gandalf. He's like Dumbledore, right? Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, um, you know, old Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars, right? You know, he's one of those, the wise old sage, right, from the mythological tales. He knows how to use magic. 
Then you have the moon with Capricorn. Capricorn is the devil in tarot. And then the moon talks about stuff being done in the darkness. It can also refer to the occult. So this person is doing some sort of magic or they're hiring someone to do magic on you. And I feel like it's to stop new love offers from coming in. They definitely don't want to see you with anyone else. I'll tell you that much. I will tell you that much. There's a very possessive energy about this person. Very possessive. Yeah, they don't want you to know because it fell on its side. Right? It was kind of on top of the Oregon Pyramid, but yeah. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. So yeah, they don't want anybody else to make an offer to you. However, you would never know that this person is holding onto your energy with the Four of Pentacles on its side. Yeah. Queen of Swords. The Moon is there. The Wheel. They feel like you guys are destined to be together. Five of Pentacles. You see, this is their fear. They don't want to be left out in the cold. They are terrified. They are terrified of you leaving them out in the cold. Okay, I feel like that's too many, but let's see here. The Page of Wands is at the bottom, excuse me. The Page of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Two of Swords. The Ace of Swords. Ooh, all this air energy. All this sword energy. I don't know if I like it. You literally have swords and pentacles and then a, a major arcana. <laughs> you know, if we're not counting this page of wands. Wow. <sighs> Two of Swords, eight, eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. This individual wants to communicate how they feel towards you, but it's like they've been going around and around in a circle with that Eight of Pentacles there, like not expressing themselves. It's an energy of, should I tell them how I feel? Should I, should I express myself to Gemini or should I not? And just on and on and on they go. It, it's basically just a never-ending cycle that they're not breaking out of. Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, Four of Pentacles. This person watches you some way, shape, or form. Whether it's in the 3D physical realm or it's through the metaverse. So social media. Or it could even be both. But they watch you. Okay? They could try they could be trying to um astral project to you. Astral project to where you live, to see your surroundings, to see your whereabouts. Okay? You don't have to be asleep for someone to astral project to you. You can be going about your day-to-day -day business and they could be astral projecting and watching you go about your day-to-day -day business. It's called remote viewing. So while they're somewhere else, they are using their psychic powers because I do feel for some of you, the person that you're dealing with, they seem to have some sort of psychic power. And it's like they could astral project themselves to where you work, to where you live, to see what you're up to, to see what you're doing about your day and to basically stalk you the moon knight of swords five of pentacles this individual fears being left out in the cold by you but at the same time they're not making a decision here this is someone page of wands they fear commitment okay very very immature energy this energy keeps coming up it, it just there's no stopping this energy it just look at this the moon yeah they're very much this is the moon three times so this person has some stuff here. They don't want you to find out. And I feel like it has to do with the law. Yeah, Eight of Swords. For some of you, your person got locked up. Or they went to jail temporarily. And they don't want you to ever find out. What a mess. Eight of Wands. King of Swords, yeah. The King of Swords can represent a judge. So yeah, this person could have gotten into some sort of legal issue and they don't want you to know about this, the star, because they would feel embarrassed. They would feel like if you were to find out that you would never want to want anything to do with them. They want to come in and talk to you. 
but they really want to talk to you, yeah. They can't stop watching you. They are obsessed with watching you. Especially if you're on social media. They're just amazed by your strength, by your courage, your dexterity, your tenacity, how strong you are. They're just amazed by it. They've never seen anyone like this. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces. Here you have two Scorpio cards. <laughs> Death and Judgment. So they feel like you're being very, very harsh right now. But I feel like this is stuff that they brought on to themselves. Yeah, Queen of Cups. You were always loving and nurturing to this person. Or you were always just very chill and nonchalant. And it's like this person is just... Ugh, they're in their head. One day you feel like everything's going good with them. But then the next day you're like... Are we together like what's going on here you know it's like you don't ever really know where you stand and it's because this person is just in their head over and over again oh my god this page of swords this person very much is watching you like don't even doubt it nine of cups yeah because they see you as wish fulfillment this is what i was saying oh my god look at this they are stressed out now, Gemini, this is my favorite line to say, you guys know by now, but Gemini, what did you do to this person? They are up at night crying. Good Lord in heaven, look at this. Whoa, okay, the King of Swords, that goes over here, because King of Swords, King of Swords. Yeah, this is someone that does not show their emotions when it comes to love. That's why you have the lovers there. Yeah, they don't show their emotions. They keep it hidden. But this individual secretly wants to marry you. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Oop. So we have third party interference here. This is something else that they don't want you to know about. Because the Three of Wands is in reverse. There's a third party here. And it could be family. Okay, it doesn't have to be a romantic thing. It could be an addiction. Five of Cups, Ten of Wands. The future shows you not wanting to do anything with this person, at least as of this current time. It's showing you moving forward and this person in a place of regret and remorse. But it's because of their inaction. They're not taking any action towards you. All they're doing is stalking and watching you. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you...